Welcome to CAXCOM Data Transport for Linux Release 11.6 Service Pack 1 Demo. In this video, we will take a look at the improvements made in the XCOM installer, followed by a demo on how to upgrade XCOM from Release 11.6 to Release 11.6 Service Pack 1. Let us take a look at the improvements made in the installer. The installer now supports seamless upgrade from Release 11.6 to 11.6 Service Pack 1. It preserves the customizations made to default configuration files, it upgrades the database to latest level, and it retains the transfers in the queue. The new installer runs with lesser footprint both in console and silent mode. You can automate CAXCOM data transport for Linux installation for distribution throughout your enterprise by performing silent installations. Starting from XCOM release 11.6 service pack 1, you no longer need to use the installer to generate a response file before you run a silent installation. Instead, you can now create and customize your response file with a text editor which follows simple, easy to understand key value pair syntax. Silent installer returns appropriate return codes which helps in identifying the status of the installations. Troubleshooting has also been improved by providing detailed logging of each install action. Assuming that the required prerequisites are met, let's run Upgrade Installer to upgrade CAXCOM data transport from release 11.6 to release 11.6 service pack 1 in console mode. We have a Linux system with CAXCOM data transport release 11.6 already installed. In order to simulate the environment where XCOM default parameters are customized, some configuration files are modified for the purpose of demonstration. Let's take a look at them by launching the XCOM GUI. Let's go to the Global Parameters tab to take a look at the parameters which are modified. Two parameters, expiration time and maximum queue entries have been modified. Expiration time has been increased from its default value of 6000 to 10000 and maximum queue entries has been increased from its default value of 500 to 5000. This XCOM is also configured with history and trusty databases. Let us check the connection to both the databases. The connection to history database is successful. The connection to trusty database is also successful. Similarly, other configuration files have been modified. Let us open them in a text editor. We have modified two files, configssl.cnf and xcom and script. Let us open configssl.cnf first. In configssl.cnf, we have changed the default path of the certificates. The default path is $xcom home slash ssl slash certs slash cassl.pem. The path has been changed to $xcom home slash ssl slash upgrade slash certs slash cassl.pem. Now let us take a look at the xcom and script. In xcom end, we have added a comment at the top of the script. Before we start the upgrade, we need to either stop the active transfers or wait until they complete. This can be done and verified using XCOM queue manager. Let us issue the command XCOM QM LA to check the status of all queue entries. At this moment, we have 12 transfers in the queue. None of the transfers are active. During upgrade, all these 12 entries will be preserved. Now let us stop the XCOMD Linux daemon by issuing the command XCOMD S. We have stopped the XCOMD Linux daemon. Now we are ready to upgrade. To upgrade, we need to launch the installer media for CA XCOM Data Transport version 11.6 Service Pack 1. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have copied the install media to our local system. Let us go to the directory of the install media. Here is the installer. We need to run the installer as root user. Let us start the upgrade in console mode. Please note that the same installer acts as fresh as well as an upgrade installer. 
To run the installer in console mode, the user runs the installer with the hyphen i console argument as follows. The extraction of the installer starts. Once the extraction is done, introduction panel is displayed which informs the user how to go to the next step or previous step of the installation or quit the installation. Next, the license agreement is displayed. Read the agreement. To continue reading through the license agreement, press enter until you are asked to accept the license agreement. Accept the license agreement by entering Y. The installer detects that a previous version of CAXCOM data transport is already installed on the system. To confirm the upgrade to release 11.6 service pack 1, input yes and press enter. Next, the upgrade information is displayed which informs the user about the actions performed during the upgrade. After that, user needs to provide a backup directory path for previous installation of XCOM. Enter your custom path or choose the default provided by the installer. Let's accept the default path for the backup directory. If JDBC connector has been copied to $XCOM home to configure trusted database, enter yes and input the path to the JDBC driver to be copied. If history database is configured, user will be asked to upgrade the database to release 11.6 service pack 1. Press enter to choose the default yes. Pre-installation summary is displayed. Pre-installation summary contains the information about the upgrade. Press enter to start the upgrade process. Upgrade is complete. Congratulations! CAXCOM Data Transport Release 11.6 has been upgraded to CAXCOM Data Transport Release 11.6 Service Pack 1. Installer generates two log files. One contains information about the custom installer actions and the other about the default installer actions. Both of these files are located at $XCOM home slash uninstaller slash logs. Let us open the custom log first. No warnings or errors are reported during the upgradation. Let us open the other log file. A summary is present inside the log which shows that there are no errors or warnings for the upgrade process. As upgrade is completed successfully, let us start the XCOM DLinux daemon. Let us issue the command xcomqm-r to check the version of XCOM. XCOM has upgraded successfully to release 11.6 service pack 1. Let us check the configuration files to ensure no customization is lost during upgrade. The certificate path is preserved in config ssl.cnf. Let us check the XCOM end script for the command which we put before upgrade. The command has been preserved. 
Let's launch XCOM GUI to see if the parameters are preserved. Expiration time is preserved and max queue entries is also preserved. Let's check the database. Both the database configurations have been preserved. Let's check if the transfers are preserved in the queue by issuing the command xcomqm-la. All the 12 transfers are restored after upgradation. Upgrade has happened successfully. The XCOM is ready to use. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about this product, connect with other users and share your own expertise, visit the CAXCOM data transport community at the URL shown. This concludes this training on Upgrade Installer. Please note that the upgrade process is similar for all Unix flavors.